Hey, it's Susan. I'm going to show you how to build a kill rate percentage gauge, which is a KPI that looks at your ratio of tickets closed versus opened. It's a number that mostly all service desk managers want to keep an eye on because it shows how efficient their team is being at closing tickets and if they're staying ahead of their backlog or if they may need additional resources in order to be more productive. So I will note that this is a KPI that comes default with a lot of the PSA data sources that we offer, but in case you want to build it yourself, this is how you would do so. So click on the green plus sign and select Gauge, and select the PSA you're working with. So maybe it's Auto or Tiger Paw, um, Freshdesk, Zendesk. I'm going to show you how to build this using ConnectWise. No matter what, just make sure you're using your ticket statistics data set. And I'm going to show you two ways to look at your kill rate percentage. One is just as a number that literally tells you your ratio of closed to open tickets. And another is as a trend over time that can give you insights into any patterns that may develop with your kill rate percentage. So for the number, you're going to want to look literally at your count of tickets open versus closed. So you're going to measure by ticket number, then select date open and the filter that makes sense for you. So I'm going to choose the current week, but maybe you want to look at the current month or you want to look at yesterday or today. It's up to you. Then you're going to clone this layer. And instead of date opened, you're going to look at date closed. And you're going to apply the same filter that you chose for date open so that you're comparing apples to apples. So I'm going to choose current week once again. And just so you know, when I build my gauges, I like to start them as a table gauge just so I can see the numbers that I'm talking about and I can keep myself organized. But we'll convert this to a number gauge in just a couple minutes. So now you're going to perform the calculation. And you're going to want to look at those tickets closed divided by tickets opened. And there you go. In order to see the actual number, you're going to want to hide your non-calculation layers and then convert this to a number gauge by clicking on the pound or number sign. And then you're going to go into your design and format the number the way you want to view it. So I would probably do a percentage with two decimal points so I can get really specific. And I see here that my kill rate percentage for the current week is 111%, which is awesome. Ideally, you want to be equal or greater to 100% because that tells you that you're closing more tickets and are being open. So you're not letting tickets stack up in your queue and you're staying ahead of your backlog, which is the goal. So now to get the trend of your kill rate percentage over time, you simply are going to want to convert this to a snapshot gauge, which you just have to click on this little camera icon to do so. And now when you first do this, you're not going to see any data there because you haven't told your snapshot to start capturing data points just yet. Once you set the schedule, then you'll start seeing this data populate over time and it'll give you insights into any patterns or um, trends that pop up, such as certain months of the year may be busier than others, so you may have a lower kill rate percentage during those months. Or maybe if you're seeing a consistently low kill rate percentage, it may indicate that you need more resources on your team. So in any case, you're going to want to set the schedule. Since we're looking at tickets open and close in a current week, I'm going to set the schedule to capture my data point every Friday at in the evening, so at the end of the week. Now that I've set it, this data point will start being captured and after a month or two, I can come in here and see, see any insights that have popped up. So I hope that was helpful for you. I hope that made sense. If you have any questions whatsoever, please reach out to support at brightgauge.com.